In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to the Eucharist, my dear brothers and sisters. And nice to be back once again. And there are many intentions over here, uh, less than last time. We'll keep these intentions in our minds, in our hearts, in our prayers. For Thanksgiving, special thanks to Jesus, Mama Mary, because my husband, my uh, mother, and myself were infected. Uh, hus husband particularly was weak. Thanks for his cured. Again, for my recovery from COVID, praying for my mother-in-law, suffering from asthma, cured. Uh, intent for my husband, successful sixth anniversary today, 5th May, uh, working in the uh, Archdiocesan Center. Then for repose of souls, people have died. Uh, Father's second anniversary, 29th of April. Then uh, my beloved wife and mother, on the second death anniversary, 28th of April. The third death anniversary on the 10th of May and 4th of July, my parents. For the fourth anniversary mass, 1st of May, my mother. The 10th anniversary, my father on the 1st of May. And the 27th anniversary on the 13th of April. We'll pray for all these intentions, those who have passed away. We pray for good health and spiritual well being. Somebody who's age 67, very serious, tested positive for COVID. Another one who's critically ill in the hospital, an elderly person. My sister-in-law in hospital for COVID. Friend for kidney failure. Relative from GB syndrome. My own nose blockage and throat irritation, wheezing, having a long time. My cousin's wife, expecting a baby and there are complications. My mother's good health, medical reports to be normal. My, my own hearing and my sister's arthritis, very severe. Pray for my wife's spiritual well-being, getting depressed because of the lockdown, stressed. My family's good health. For good job and success, to get payment for my work which I've done, my wife and I are having financial difficulties, uh, only have money till the end of next month for a visa to resume work in the USA, to go back to Mumbai, if the will of God, pray for my son's job in Mumbai. For accommodation, relevant NOCs affidavits regarding a newly acquired villa in Goa be okay. Repending works in our villa. For those affected by COVID, for Jamshedpo, really hit hard. We lost a priest. Our parish priest lost his brother in Mumbai. Pray for my father who is COVID positive in ICU. And finally, for the anniversaries, for the 46th wedding anniversary of so-and-so on the 4th of May, the golden wedding anniversary of uncle and aunt on the 1st of May, Again, a golden wedding anniversary on the 4th of May. My parents on the 1st of May, 41 years of marriage. 36th wedding anniversary on 2nd of May. For us, the couple praying. My cousin's wedding anniversary on the 30th of April. My own birthday on the 1st of May. Pray for my brother's 24th birthday on the 2nd of May. My daughter... 21st birthday on the 5th of May and we thank also for father uh, who was working over here, who has been cured thanks for that Pre keep all these intentions in your minds, in your hearts let's begin the sacrifice now asking God's forgiveness you were sent to heal the contrite Lord have mercy Lord have mercy you came to call sinners, Christ have mercy Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, restorer 
and lover of innocence, direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Can you sit? A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So, being sent on their way by the church, they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, describing in detail the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the brothers. When they came to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they declared all that God had done with them. But some believers, who belonged to the party of the Pharisees, rose up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and to order them to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and the elders were gathered together to consider this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response shall be, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Kindly repeat, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Our response, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is built as a city, bonded as one together. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Our response, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. For Israel's witness it is, to praise the name of the Lord. They were set the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Our response, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Abide in me and I in you, says the Lord. Whoever abides in me bears much fruit, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true wine, and my father is the wine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the, fruit, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burnt. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit. 
and so prove to be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's readings, the second reading is about Jesus being the vine and we being the branches, we've got to abide in him. The first reading gives uh, an account of the early church, a, con a controversy which arose in the uh, early church. We know that Paul and Barnabas were preaching in Antioch and there he was, there was much success, many people believing in Jesus, following Jesus, believing in what they preached about the resurrection in particular, our Lord's teachings, and they were following, getting, getting baptized. And then uh, come some people from Judea, from the area of Jerusalem, and they come over there, and they're surprised when they meet in the synagogue that to hear saying that you can carry on, so many people are following Jesus, become Christians, but they were not circumcised, which the law of Moses had said. Remember the first Jew, the first uh, converts were from the Jewish religion, and they were all circumcised. And now uh, the question is, they said, no, 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 you cannot now get baptized, uh, you must also get circumcised. And uh, Paul and Barnabas did not want to impose that burden on them. There was a theological question, do you have to become a Jew before you become a Christian? And the question is, uh, how, is really Christ come for the salvation of all or the chosen people only? And so uh, what are the rules? How, how is salvation achieved? This is really the theological question behind. And as I said here, we see that they decide, now we can't solve it, there's a controversy. People who came from Jerusalem now Paul and the people were, began, were divided probably, both sides, and they decide they needed a definitive decision, a ruling by some authority. And as we today, if there's a controversy about some church law, controversy about a church dispute, we refer to the Holy Father, to the Pope, Pope Francis, no, to give us a direction what's to be done uh, as a vicar of Christ. And so they also, the same way they said, let us go, the, all the apostles were still, they had not moved uh, the headquarters still to Rome, they were all still in uh, Jerusalem. And so then they said, let's, the people said, the only solution, let's ask the apostles, what exactly is it? Should they be circumcised? Very clear, very clear question. Answer is not clear. Should they be circumcised or not to, be, to get baptized? Should they do it before or should they do it afterwards? What is the, what is the, regulation and finally they decided let us go to Jerusalem meet the apostles and get their ruling and so they go and the great joy they said they went reach Jerusalem received with great love affection joy by the apostles by the elders there and uh, because of so much of good work they were doing in Antioch and Paul was a good had worked over there before they were thrilled to receive him but uh, now the question and uh, it ends, this reading ends with that. Let's say that they all met to discuss this. And tomorrow we'll have uh, exactly the result of their discussion in the first reading of tomorrow's Mass. In the Gospel, Jesus, it's the same Gospel as the Sunday because that uh, they, this Gospel uh, here today speaks of Jesus, such an important reading. It's repeated for us here. Jesus says, I am the branch, I am the wine, you are the branches. You have got to live in me. Abide in me as I abide in you. Only with me can you bear fruit. And that really is something which you and I, I invite you to get deeper and deeper into it. We can't fully understand. What does it mean to abide in Jesus? It means living by his life. We hear today of how important, we know, we hear, because we see it, how important oxygen is. Without oxygen, people cannot live. And we can't have eternal life without Jesus, life of Jesus in us. Same, very, very, very true. And Jesus gives life to those who believe in him, those who oh, want to come to him, those who want to come to God. 
Therefore, abiding in Him means for you and for me, believing in Jesus, which we do. Abiding in Him means listening to Him, His word, His teachings that we do. Abide in Him means following His commandments. We can't say we believe in Him, hear Him, and not follow what He says that we do. Abide in Him means praying to Him, thanking Him, having a relationship with Him. All that, there are deeper levels of all this. Believing in Him more and more. And faith, believing is not just intellectual, but entrusting ourselves in His hands. Similarly, uh, listening to His word, not just hearing it, but allowing it to sink into our hearts more and more, so that it forms our lifeblood, our oxygen which strengthens us and gives us life. Praying to Him, talking to Him, not just saying the prayers, but communicating with Him. And then not just saying, I'm a Christian, but actually having a relationship with Him. Abide in me as I abide in you. Let us ask Jesus more and more to come into our lives and to show us how to abide in Him. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be your glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. sign of peace, Christ be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Peace. Peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof. Do only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have been redeemed may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass Senate, let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God bless each one of you. Today is Wednesday, day of Our Lady, but as the Pope tells us in his uh, apostolic letter, uh, Wednesday also we pray especially to St. Joseph. Pray to St. Joseph also to protect us, protect of the Church, protect of our families, keep us safe from coronavirus. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Prayer for Relief from the Coronavirus Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>